Lucas Media. Don't forget to smash the like button, y'all, and subscribe. But we got reports coming out that Tank Davis got a mega deal. The rumors are that it's a six-fight deal worth $240 million. So that's roughly $40 million a fight for his fights to be on Amazon pay-per-view. Now, Tank Davis says he has a hit list. And I'm just going to name some people that Tank should be fighting. Number one, Vasily Novachenko. Number two, Shakur Stevenson. Number three, Denny's Bernachik. No, I messed that name up. And y'all probably wonder why I said him because he's a WBO champion. Tank Davis said he wants to be undisputed at 135. Then okay. Then he need to fight Tiafimo Lopez and Devin Haney. Now, those are six fights right there. And, you know, obviously Shakur is a pick and fight. That'd be one of his toughest fights. Vasily Lomachenko, there's rumors coming out that they're going to fight in November. You got Denny Bernachek, however you say his last name, because he's a WBO champion. And then Devin Haney. Devin Haney needs to be the last fight because Devin Haney was undisputed champion at 135 pounds. So really, all of these fighters has Devin Haney belt. Devin Haney gave the belts up when he went to 140 and became the WBC champion against Regis Progress. And Tank says he's had such a hit list. Well, you need to, we need to see people fighting on his hit list. Now, Amazon, if they're giving him $40 million, they want to make $60 million. You feel me? Tank's going to be pressured to fight the biggest fights. Amazon's not going to pay Tank Davis $40 million to fight some Joe Schmo. Rumors already came out that the fight only did 200,000 pay-per-views. Which, you know, if it would have been a regular fighter, sure. But when it comes to Tank Davis, you know, you got all these promotions. And you say Tank's a superstar and he's the face of boxing. Well, then if the face of boxing is only doing 200,000 pay-per-views, that means two things. The fight ain't big enough. The fight ain't big enough because everybody still did watch the fight. It's just what nobody finna pay for that. You have to make the fans, you have to make us want to pay $80 for these fights. And people will pay for Shakur Stevenson. People will even pay for Vasily Lomachenko, and you know with Devin Haney because Devin Haney's the face of boxing right now. People are definitely going to pay for that because people want to believe that Ryan Garcia wasn't on the juice, and you'll give, you'll do anything to make sure that this man loses. So you know, again, look, I ain't gonna hate on nobody get their money, get your money tank. If it's forty million dollars a fight, that's definitely generational, generational, generational wealth. But as a fan, as a fan, we, I want to see the best fight, the best. We all do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. People say Frank Martin was his toughest competitor, and I personally feel like Isak Cruz was because that's one of the only two fighters that Tank got a unanimous, unanimous decision over other than uh, German Mraz when he fought October 8th, 2014. Other than that, everything's been a KO, TKO. So, and I went back and watched the Isak Cruz fight with the sound off yesterday. And while Tank did beat Isak, Isak was in Tank Grill the whole time. And Tank was throwing hydrogen bombs, as Mike Tyson would say. And Isak Cruz, he was just eating them and coming forward the whole time. Those are the level of fighters that I want to see Tank Davis fight. And you see what they did with Isak. His Instagram then went up. Now he the champion at 140. Also, he could do a rematch with that. But if Tank wants to be the best man, you got to be, I'm sorry, you got to be undisputed. You got to be undisputed and you got to fight the best. So you need to you need to make sure you fight Lomachenko, so Shakur Stevenson, and Devin Haney's. And guess what? If you beat all these people, then you that guy. Ain't, can't nobody say nothing. But his fan base gets so mad when you criticize Tank Davis for not fighting nobody. It's like, okay, well, the best got to fight the best. And even if you want to fight Ryan that's juiced up, fine. Make sure that it's an even playing field. You drain the man down to 136. He had a real hydration clause. No, this fight at 140. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Again, you know, get your money. But yeah, I'm sure Amazon going to want to recruit that. But tell me what y'all think.